And on Friday, Senator Kirsten Sinema reintroduced bipartisan bills in Congress to help protect seniors from scammers in our state. The Arizona Department of Economic Security says there are 1.5 million adults that range from the ages of 60 and over. Now, if the Senior Security Act passes, it would create a task force within the Securities and Exchange Commission that coordinates with state authorities and regulators in efforts to reduce the risk for seniors they have while dealing with investment scams. The task force will also report its findings to Congress and recommend changes to regulations or laws. The battery company LG Energy Solution is announcing it'll invest $5.5 billion to build a battery manufacturing complex in Queen Creek, right here in Arizona. Officials tell News 4 Tucson the complex marks the largest single investment for a standalone battery manufacturing facility in North America. This new manufacturing complex is expected to create thousands of jobs, and Senator Mark Kelly says... It'll also boost Arizona's position as a leader in manufacturing and renewable energy. News for Tucson talked with a White House spokesperson who says all this is great news for the state for a number of reasons. Not only is the factory going to expand and all sorts of jobs are going to be created directly at that factory, but then all those new workers are going to need places to eat. They're going to need places to live. That creates a big boom in the surrounding economy with more small businesses or housing construction and so on. So it's the kind of uh, positive trickle down effect uh, that we'd like to see. Officials say the project is anticipated to break ground this year with production anticipated in 2025. One of Southern Arizona's biggest public events is back with tens of thousands expected to turn out and blast off for what is always a real crowd pleaser that has flight fans and Tucsonans alike flying high and fun. The thunder and lightning over Arizona Air Show kicks off today at Davis Monthan Air Force Base. The event is free and will run through today and tomorrow starting each of these days at 9 a.m. It's great. It's great for the community to have these large events, but we have to also remember that means that there's going to be an increased amount of people around this area and just be patient. Give yourself extra time. If you're going to the event, give yourself um, a little more time to make sure you get there on time. Good advice. Hey, with the show comes some traffic interruptions. At 6 a.m., closures will start around eastbound Alvernon Way and golf links between Ajo Way and Wilmot. That's going on as we speak. Westbound traffic will be reduced to one lane to still allow access to businesses. Then by 2 p.m., southbound Swan at 29th Street as well as southbound Craycroft at 32nd will be closed to allow event traffic to exit. You'll also want to be mindful of what you can and can't bring on base. Just head to our website, kboa.com has much more information. New legislation.